Now in this video I'm going to show how to save your Word document as a document that supports macros because in the back end as I mentioned previously this video is going to have a little bit of computer programming involved so what you're going to go ahead and do is go to your file and select save as very important and I must stress this part's extremely important because if you save the file incorrectly the file will not be able to support the, the macros that we're going to need in order to create the checklist so under save as type you're going to go on and select the drop down box look for the one that says word macro enable document which would be a dot docm file so you're going to select that and then look to see where you're saving your document that way you know where to find it once you want to reopen it and then under file name change it to your to your preference in this case I'm just gonna write customer survey and I'm gonna go on and select save now this this part is very simple just saving your Microsoft Word document as a dot doc m file or um, a document that supports macros now in the next video I'm going to show you how to set up the developers tab for the visual visual basic editor